Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take a look at the new support Asper Sienna. She specializes in AP control for both your allies and your enemies. She is a legendary win support and a very powerful one at that. And before we get into the content, if you found that you liked the video, do consider subscribing. Subscribing is free and you can always change your mind. Now with that out of the way, let's take a look at her skill set. Her skill number one is Guardian Vine, deals damage to an enemy and increase AP to Diana and a random ally. So I'm pretty sure that that's a naming mistake, but maybe they decided to call her Sienna after a little bit of a debate. Regardless, this has a lot of potential depending on how much AP it boosts, and I'm looking at somewhere between 15% and 20%. Anything below that is going to be forgettable, and anything above that would be too overpowering. Now moving on to the second skill, we have uh, Mind My Chinese Tongue, Earth's Blessing. Grants all allied espers attack up and speed up. This is really huge. So this is going to be an Esper that is going to be a mainstay in a lot of teams. This buff itself is tremendously powerful for a lot of content. It is going to be excellent in Temporal Tower and most of the PvE content as well. And for PvP, this skill also finds a lot of use, especially in comps that revolve around Bruiser aspects. So because it lasts for 2 turns, I'm looking at somewhere within 3 or 4 turns of a cooldown. So long as it's within this range, then it's very PvE friendly. If it's 5 turns or more, then it's basically just a one-trick pony, and probably only good for PvP. Now her third skill, Wrath of the World, deals damage against all enemies and clears their AP. And if the target's AP is 0%, there is an additional chance of inflicting stun for 1 turn. And on the third ascension, Diana gets a bonus turn immediately afterwards. You're welcome for translating all of that. Now this third skill is definitely very powerful. This skill is going to be so good for a lot of PvE content, and that may even include bosses such as APEP and possibly even Kronos 10 even though she's off element. But in terms of PvP, unless she has a speed lead, which I really hope she does not, if not she's gonna be super broken, there are already much better aspects that fulfill this role, and by better, I mean characters like Longmian or Melanie, or even Tie who even have speed leads. So for PvP, it's not very wise to bring more than one crowd control unit, or you can do that, but typically a buff remover is used instead. So secondary debuffers such as Lucas, Raven, or Tricky usually fills this second role, because then otherwise there is not a lot of room for other aspers such as DPS, but she can still fill the support role by increasing your team's attack power, but then you will need to compensate by having 2 crowd control units and 1 buff remover. So if she has a global or a PvP speed lead, then she will be very powerful in PvP, there is no doubt about it. Otherwise, I think she excels a lot in Temporal Tower, and I think her potential is exacerbated if she's used alongside characters such as Ira and other very powerful AP control aspers such as Longmian and Sander. So I think this Esper is going to be a ton of fun and I'm really happy that she has a drop rate up. And in my opinion, I think she's great for all levels in the game, whether you're a beginner or an end game player, you will definitely find use for her. So if you're going to use her for PvP, then you're going to need to have Windwalker so she can be a little bit faster and drop her third skill at the start. But that is assuming that the other side does not have Gabriel and every team has a Gabriel now, now that she is free. And that's why I stress a lot about having a buff remover. But let's say you have that already checked out, then good for you, Windwalker is gonna work perfectly well. But for PvE, what I think I would fancy the most is to run her with Ocean Waves. I think having a 35% chance to reduce all her cooldowns is going to make her very powerful and very scary. Well, I mean scary for the enemy of course, the AIs are just gonna be shaking their little booties. But anyway, that would be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Sienna. I'm really positive that none of you guys have anything negative to say about her. Her kit is really amazing. And I like the fact that while she's all-encompassing, she's not exactly very breaking. So I don't really see her gonna get a nerf hammer anytime soon. Well, I mean, unless she has a speed lead, then she's absolutely broken. But we can stop right here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more dislike content. And this has been Free to Play, by the way. And as always, I will see you in the next video.